Welcome back to the channel guys, episode 28 of the Danish Youth Academy Challenge and today we've got a youth intake as I promised but also some European games. Let's do it. As always we're going to start off with a league update. Now this is a bit disappointing, we're sixth but I'll explain why it's disappointing. So if you look at the, the form there, we haven't won in the last five games. We were third for a good chunk of this season, sometimes we were second as well behind Copenhagen. Um, I didn't lose until like the first 12 games or something, then we got a loss, which is fine because this is still better, but this is actually worse than we were doing. Um, I don't know why we've suddenly slacked off in form. I think it's because we're still in Europe in March, which is interesting and insane. I'm going to show you the run as well that we've had in the Europa Conference. We've got some games today from the Europa Conference, two-legged affair against the German team. So we'll get to that in a second. But for now, like I said, we have, uh, we've lost four of the last five games. Now, we've lost to OB, who are just below us. Uh, we lost to Copenhagen, who are above us. We lost to FC Mischland, who are ninth, 2-1. One, one. We lost to Bronby, who are above us. And we lost to Vigil, or Vigil, uh, who are bo above us as well. So maybe we just had some easier fixtures at the start. I'm not sure, but we've still got a game in hand. If we win that game in hand, we actually qualify for the top six. Um, it would be quite nice to get into it. We shall see. Or maybe... Maybe we try and drop down to 7th and try and finish top of that and then we can get Europe again. Either way, we should this time pop up to 3 stars reputation, I think. So this is our run in Europe then. We started off against Ozyshek and we beat them, not comfortably to be fair. 2-1 we lost away and 3-1 we won at home. And then we beat Maccabi Tel Aviv 7-0 at home. And I was like very, very shocked. And then we lost the away leg because I rested players because we were 7-0 up. Then we beat Torino... 3-2 on aggregate. No idea how we managed to do that. 2-2 two, two, the first leg away from home in Italy. They were the better team by a distance. 3.77 XG just there. And then we won 1-0 at home. And then we won Sturm Graz at home. We drew with New Saints. That was a bad result. We lost to Slavia Prague. Bad result. And then we sort of won out in the group stage. 2-0 against St. Patrick's. 2-1 against Bate Borisov. And 5-0 against FF Jaro. Or Yarrow. And then in the knockout phase, we beat Dynamo Zagreb 3-1 and 3-1. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be, to be fair. And I think we deserved both legs. Um, yeah, we, we battered them there. They had all the ball, but we battered them. Uh, and then the second leg of home, I think it was the same sort of situation where we deserved to win as well. So it's not the Torino game is probably the area we should have gone out to. Maybe we shouldn't have even qualified for the league phase. But we did. We managed to get a bit of luck there. Everyone else, every other tie, every other game, we've actually deserved. Now we've got Frankfurt. Frankfurt is 7th in the Bundesliga. That'll be better than Torino, I would imagine. Torino are 8th in Serie A. So this is going to be very tough. We're probably going to get beaten here. But this video is going to consist of this first match against Frankfurt. I'm going to edit down to make it a bit smaller. And then we're going to do either the second leg if that's first, or the intake in between. I don't know which one comes first, but basically, this video is going to be the two legs and the intake. Uh, but the two legs are going to be edited down to basically just good chances. So you're not watching the entire game, because this episode will be like 45 minutes long. I mean, I could make it that long. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that is what's going to happen today. So let's get in to the home leg against Eintracht Frankfurt. This is the team then we're going to go with for the game. It looks like everyone's got a good relationship as well with their fellow player. Jakobsen is turning into a very, very good striker, by the way. Um, he is 18 off the ball now with good pace, 16, 16, 16 dribbling. He's underperforming his XG slightly, but he's only just turned into this player. He's only just become this good. So I'm hoping from now on, he actually starts banging in a lot of goals because this guy's capable of getting 25, 30 goals a season. I just need to get it out of him. So, yeah, this is going to be the team. Cajun goal, Dillong, Nielsen, Idisgard, Schoendorf, Schumowen, uh, or Schumowen, I don't know how you say it, Nudson and Gartenman with Hansen on the right and Argerson on the left, and then Jakobsen up top. On the bench, obviously, we've got all the usual players, all the backup players that we've uh, that we've got. And then let's just get straight into the game, yeah? At home as well. Nudson's troubled. He feels unsuited to the role he's been asked to play. I don't know why they're troubled. Well, I do know why, but I don't know why that's the reason. It's a bit stupid. It doesn't matter. 
Right, for the first game, I'm going to say this is the first of the back-to-back -back matches, so we need to show them what we're about. I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to talk to all the players that didn't respond positively. Yep, everyone now has responded positively. Love to see that. We are at home, obviously. Let's uh, let's do it. What formation are those guys playing? I don't even know. Looks like a four two three one. I just don't know if they're DMs yet. It looks like they are DMs. Back in midfielder there, Petit. Interesting. We'll see. That is a very good pass. And are we 1 0 down already? I think we might be, guys. 30 seconds in. We are. Fantastic start, lads. At home as well. Brilliant. Love it. Okay, he's worth 37 million. Right. And he's got 16 vision. Right, okay. That, that's very interesting. No, no, 4 4 2 there. But he's a striker. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. So. Didn't even get into the game properly there. 14,000 seater stadium. Uh, 14,000 people in the stadium, sorry. We are playing at a different stadium. We have come back quite well though here. We've had four shots. Which is very good. Five shots. We are on top at the moment, which is ridiculous. We've been playing very well in Europe, I'm not going to lie. Can we maybe score? Can we maybe score a back post header? No? Oh, nearly. Doing all right, though, yeah. I mean, we are at home. We do need to sort of win this leg. I don't think we're going to win away from home in Germany. We need to do something here. I'm going to tell them... That's not good enough, because I don't believe it is good enough. It's nice to know, though, that we can sort of compete with these sort of teams, like the big five leagues. Obviously, if it was an English team, we probably wouldn't be able to compete, but the others, we're doing all right here. We're actually, like, probably the better team. Obviously, we're at home, but... Okay, so, as always, for some reason, my striker, he's having a shocker. I don't know why that is. I don't know what he's... Obviously, my substitutions could hinder this situation as well, remember. Because my substitutions in certain positions aren't as good as my starters. Van Agerson, just before you go off, no. What an I discard. Yeah, I think this is probably going to be a bit of a bridge too far, but it's not the end of the world. I'm going to go with a halfback here. For the deep line playmaker here. I'm going to put Hansen on attack as well. Um, we're also going to... That's fine, that's fine. A left back. Let's take him off as well. Bring on cast and Dyer. Okay. He's not good. Oh, okay. Maybe. Something. Potentially. I don't like it's my striker because he's like the furthest side forward. Hansen. Go on, Hansen. Can, you, can we make it 1-1 one, one, maybe? Blocked it. He's blocked it. That was it, wasn't it? That was it. Again, though, this is good. Obviously, we're miles away from being able to perform against the elite of the elite, but it's nice to just know that we can actually not get battered against these teams. You know? That's not going to end in a shot, is it? We're getting forced back. Yeah. We're doing all right here. Even if we end up losing this game 2 or 3 now, which I doubt we do, but if we do, it's not the end of the world. We've done quite well here. Go on, Dyer. Go inside. Come on, let's just try and score one. Try and score one. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. We have been the better team, haven't we? Very frustrating, this. Keeper's got that. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just going to be that first uh, first minute goal, isn't it? They caught us unawares. Can we maybe, maybe? Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, he saved it. Oh, no. Just can't take our chances. That is usually the case with us. We've uh, we've lost a few games against teams in the in our in our domestic division as well, and we should have won, but we just can't take chances. I don't have that guy yet. That's that striker, especially that just buries chances. I don't have him. Fortunately, I have some good players, but they don't. They're not able to do that. Yeah. We don't have that killer instinct. He's fine. He's fine. At least we've got everything else. So we really want a striker through. I know Jakobsen looks amazing. I just don't think he's the guy to score as 25. I don't know. I'm going to keep working his shooting. Hopefully he does become that guy. But yeah, we played well there. We've dominated the entire game apart from the first minute. And we've lost. But it's not the end of the world. I'll see you guys either for the second leg in a second or the intake, whichever's first. Right then, so the intake isn't here yet, but the second game is. So we are going to go straight into that. Same team, same everything. We did quite well that last game, so let's do it. This time, I think I'm going to say no pressure because that's quite good away from home. And everyone, again, that didn't react is going to get an individual shout. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully, hopefully we can turn it around. I doubt we do. I really doubt we do. It's away from home against a very good team. But you never know. Hopefully we've got our shooting boots on today. Go on. Because we have got some good players. We really, really have. Argerson being one of them down there from this left wing here. Six foot four winger. Very nice. Hansen on the other wing. Oh, 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 you see what I'm saying? We don't have that clinical edge. We just don't have that clinical edge. Oh, my God. Oh, guy, back guys, while you're here, I just want to show you some player. Not for any reason other than he's absolutely godlike. This striker here for West Ham, Signorelli, uh, came from Argentina. Look at this guy. Like I said, there's no real reason to show you him, but wow, look at that. Just everything amazing. He's got 29 goals in a 36 games for West Ham. <laughs> I don't think West Ham are like a top four team either. They've just got a worldy, uh, a worldy player up front. But yeah, just I'd show you that. I don't know why. I saw him and I was like, whoa, okay. Oh, good effort. Good effort. I mean, they're not pressing us like I thought they would. I thought they'd be right up top end. I do wonder if they're doing a really good job at making sure we can't go into it. That's better. I think he's offside there. He is offside. He's not offside. Okay. That was good though. We played well there. It was nice to see Gartenman in that little uh, half space. Uh, yeah. First goal of the season. Ah, oh, just a cheap goal from their first shot. Yeah, it just shows you how far we actually are away, doesn't it? It's been all us again, and then bang, goal. It is what it is. It is what it is. At least we've got this far, right? At least we've got this far. I don't know how good their striker is, though, this guy. 71 million he's worth. Pretty good, then. <laughs> Pretty good. On Schoendorf, show us what you've got. That's a nice pass. Jakobsen. What can Jakobsen do? Penalty? Yeah, over the bar again. Oh dear, we are bad at shooting, aren't we? Really bad. That didn't need to go along. We've not disgraced ourselves though here. We really haven't. Come on, guys. Just one goal. Just one goal. Give us a chance. Give us a chance.
<laughs> They're just getting a block on it, or it's just going over, or keeper's saving it. Can we get can we get that? We can. Go on, Nudson. Oh, I've lost it. Can you get that? Can you get no? Puts it back over. Left footer. Yeah, there we go. That's us done. Ah, oh, very frustrating. Very, very, very frustrating. 1.2 XG we've created today and not had one shot on target. I think that just about sums our striking up, our finishing, our shooting, doesn't it? Zero shots on target. Well, one now, but 1.4 XG. Double the XG of them. And we haven't scored one goal in this tie yet. That is... Very frustrating, but we know we can perform. And all the players are young, so we're only going to get better, right? We are only going to get better. But we're not going to score three goals now. That's not going to happen. Not sure how good their striker is as well. He's not going to greatest model citizen. He's not. He's all right. Corner then. Yeah, I think that's three. No, it's not. Um, do we just go for it then? I think we have to, don't we? Three. We've got to get three goals. We're going to go for the four-two-three-one. Uh, what shall we do here then? Which player should we bring on? Um, let's bring Schreiber on for Argerson because he's playing not very well. Let's do that, and then we can bring on Peterson for Shimoen. Shimoen. I think. Think that is the right thing to do. I think it is. Yeah, let's go with that. Because the four two three one does have a place, we just don't start with it anymore. Very aggressive and very attacking, so hopefully we can maybe get a goal or two. Just I don't know. Try and get a draw on the night, maybe. No. No, I think we're gonna lose the ball there. Oh right, he's he's just that's a, that's a strange highlight. That's a weird animation. Why would my player trip him up when he's nowhere near the ball? I don't think it's a penalty. I don't think it's inside the box, but... Yeah, it makes that whole highlight even weirder that it wasn't inside the box. Why do it? I don't know. Seven shots on target now, by the way. Seven shots on target, no goals. So, hopefully... I will also show you guys the intake preview as well after this game. Uh, I know you don't really, it doesn't really matter, but I will show it. See what you guys think to it. You might notice something I don't notice. Can we score, please? Maybe? No? <laughs> no, I don't think we can. No, there we go. 3 0. Yeah, 4 0 in aggregate. Very unfair, this result, I think. But. We've lost, and that's all that matters. A couple of moments here away from winning this whole tie, which is interesting. Okay, let's make some subs then. Let's rest some players. Let's rest Gartenman. Bring on Goldstoff. Let's rest Hansen. And let's rest Dillon at right back. There we go. Oh, come on. Don't make it 4-0 on the night. They don't deserve that. Can we at least score one? Maybe. Maybe. I don't think we will. This is nice though. We're playing well. We're playing well. I do I do like how we've been playing this game. Jakobsen, please. Okay. We scored one. That's something. That's something. Maybe another one. 4 2 is not too bad, is it? 4 0 looks bad. 4 1 does looks pretty bad. Good save. <laughs> but all in all. Not that bad. I thought this was going to be a, a, a very heavy, not just a heavy result. I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be. We're going to be outplayed. I thought we're going to be outplayed. We haven't been outplayed. That's the main thing. In fact, we've created a lot more than them over the two legs, which is pretty ridiculous. I don't think he'll catch that. <laughs> oh, it's a good cross. Oh, wow. Re this is now verging on unfair, isn't it? 5 1 in aggregate. Ah, oh dear. 
It happens, guys. It happens. We've got to take it, haven't we? It'll be worth it in the end when we uh, when we manage to get into the Champions League and do well in that. Yeah, we've lost. I can't say I'm happy, even though I am slightly. So yeah, there we go. Five one on aggregate, four one on the night. Very unfair result, but it is what it is. We should have taken our chances. Um, like I said, I will show you the youth intake preview just before the intake in a second. Here we go then, guys. The intake is here, but I just want to show you a result that we've just played. Very, very good result. But we've just beaten FC Norseland 4-1 away from home at their ground. And Jakobsen, who couldn't score, well, was slating, I suppose, a little bit in the last game. Must have heard me because he scored four. And he had a goal disallowed as well. So we beat them. We battered them as well. We didn't have a penalty, which didn't inflate the XG. They scored a header from a corner. Uh, FC Norseland beaten 4-1. So that puts us into the championship group for the uh, the last 10 games. Obviously, there's still two games left for us in the regular season. But um, yeah, first time ever in that top group. We've conceded the second least amount of goals uh, to FC Copenhagen. So that's very, very good. Obviously, we need to start scoring a bit more. But defence wins titles and all that stuff. So that's happening. That's very good. But now we have got the youth intake. Now, the preview is here. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to put it on the screen for a couple of seconds. You guys can have a look at it. And then we'll have a look at the intake. Right then. Okay, let's have a look. One, two, three. Only two elite talents. Only two elite talents. Um, a couple of four and a half star players down here, but only two elite talents. A right winger, two right wingers. This looks like the worst one so far. We'll have a look. We shall have a look. Okay, Topol is very good because he's professional personality. Let's have a look at Topol. In fact, no, 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 no. Let's start down. This guy's professional, centre back slash DM. Martin Rice, professional. Do I maybe sign him up just in case that changes? I don't think it will, but professional personality. Let's see what. Yeah, we'll sign him up. Why not? We'll sign him up because he's professional. Um, one ambitious, two ambitious, three ambitious, four. Full of low determinations, which we don't want. Uh, and then we'll sign up the top four as well. So let's have a look at Bo Rasmussen. Good physically. He's work mentally. Um, I'll definitely sign him up just in case because you never know, do you? Never, ever know with these guys. A um, bit, bit steep, two hundred pounds. Twenty maybe. Okay, we'll go with that. Casper Elahav, who's a centre back, a left back, and right back. Let's have a look at Casper. Okay, six foot one, eleven jumping reach, three composure, but we can work on that. Again, centre back, which is what I needed. Let's sign him up. Very, very interesting. Let's give him 150 a week. There we go. Alexander Kronborg. Alexander Kronborg. Let's go with him. Balanced personality, but he's level-headed, which is nice. He's from Copenhagen. This is a right winger and striker, so let's look at Kronborg. Okay, he's good. He's very good. Good dribbling. Yeah, happy with him. Very, very nice. He can play right midfield as well, which is really, really good. Um, He looks like a really good player. Okay, yeah, I'm going to work on his anticipation to start with and his decision-making. But all in all, he is a very good player, so let's sign him up. This is probably what's going to happen now. It's going to be There's not going to be as many good players through, I don't think. Um, but the ones that come through should be actually really, really good now. There we go, he's signed up. Right, the last one is Patrick Topol or Topel. He's two-star current ability, which is really, really nice. Let's have a look at him. The, the current ability is not very good, this uh, this intake, is it? It's definitely the worst intake, but this guy could definitely make it okay. Let's have a look at Topil. Okay. He's not fast. I don't really, really know where he plays. Is he a box-to-box? -box? No? Not a right winger, is he? Striker. 14 stamina. I don't know. He's a strange one. Good personality though, so that's good. Let's get him signed up. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with him, but we'll figure it out. 
As always, though, if you guys have got any ideas about any of these players, especially that one, the last one, the best one, Topple, uh, let me know. Do let me know. The personalities at the top end were good. Obviously, we signed this guy up, Martin Rice. I don't think we're going to need him or he's going to be any good, but he's uh, he's getting signed up anyway. So we've got five players there. Um, yeah, definitely the worst one. That I'd give it a three or four out of ten. Hopefully, the end of this season, because we've done well in Europe and we're going to be in the top six, hopefully we get three-star uh, reputation as well, club reputation. That would be quite nice because pretty certain if we look at the clubs here we add now here which is the the only the highest club out of the two and a half star reputation so we must be really close to three stars that's what i'm thinking um so yeah there's only one three and a half star team so it'll be a while to get to there three stars reputation puts us on the same level as these guys and we might we might with our better youth recruitment and youth facilities we might be able to um attract players that these guys can or maybe have a bigger pull maybe not but we shall see but uh that's gonna be it guys thank you for watching unfortunately we went out in europe unfortunately the youth intake wasn't fantastic but well i might have better luck next year and i'll let you know next episode how we get on in the league and where we finish in that top six so thank you for watching as always leave a like on the video leave a comment in the comment section and a subscription on the channel and until next time i'll catch you then goodbye